I'm Diane Medley. I'm Executive Chairman at MCM CPAs and Advisors. We have offices in Louisville, Jeffersonville, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Lexington, Kentucky. I just want to say how much the Louisville community has come to appreciate Simmons College and its mission. And Simmons serves a very important role in serving our West End community, but also it's come into its own as an important civic community leader and attractor of talent. It's very important that we in Louisville invest in our talent, and that's talent from all areas of the city. It goes without saying that education is the backbone of economic development in Louisville, and Simmons is a part of that in a big way. We look forward to Simmons continuing to grow, and we very much want every student who goes to Simmons to stay in Louisville and continue to contribute in a big way. This city needs leaders in all areas of the community, and we need to make sure we continue to invest in this outstanding institution. Hi, I'm Ashley Watts, President and CEO of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, the state's largest business association. On behalf of Kentucky employers, we are so excited that you are looking to attend Simmons College. I know you will find Kentucky, and Louisville in particular, to be exciting and inclusive and a wonderful way to spend your college years, and hopefully your career here in the Commonwealth. Hello, my name is Sam Talbot, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Simmons College of Kentucky and President of the National Baptist Convention of America with 3.5 million members across the world. We want to continue to partner and build an educational and workforce development superhighway connecting the city of Louisville and the entire country with students from across the nation attending Louisville's HBCU, Simmons College of Kentucky. Simmons is training future teachers, entrepreneurs, and employees for a diverse workforce for our city. Listen, you guys, in a historic move announced a week ago, Simmons College and Jefferson County Public Schools launched an initiative, a partnership with the main goal of placing more minority teachers in Louisville classrooms. Now I'm going to ask to the podium one of the truly inspired leaders who brought us together, Dr. Marty Polio, Superintendent of Jefferson County Public Schools. We know, first of all, that we have a teacher shortage. There is teacher shortage across America, and we have to address that. Uh, but even more importantly for us is minority teacher recruitment. Right now in JCPS, about 35% of our students are African-American students, but only about 15% of our teaching staff are African-American teachers. As the board chair, I'm extremely honored this board and the superintendent took the courageous step to move forward and make this opportunity possible and to bring attention to the need for minority teachers in our district. Dr. Cosby approached me uh, back in the winter time and we had a meeting and he had this idea and asked if we could partner and collaborate together in this work. At that time, I did not know the power of HBCUs and the impact that they have on professions all across uh, the spectrum. Anyone who calls Simmons a sleepy Bible college, dismiss them as being historically illiterate. <laughs> Simmons 
was not a sleepy Bible college. America was a sleepy democracy. In 1967 and 2020 are very similar. I am for law and order. I am the law and order candidate. Back then it was black power. Today it's Black Lives Matter. However trouble they may be, looting and arson have nothing to do with civil rights. But what we are now seeing on the streets of our cities has nothing to do with justice. There is a patience that people had with their struggle 52 years ago. Well, in my opinion, it just left from frustration, you know. And people will not be that patient today. So looting is what you do. We learned it from you. We learned violence from you. So if you want us to do better, then damn it, you do better. President Lyndon Johnson appointed an 11-member advisory commission on civil disorders aimed to identify the root causes. The basic conclusion of the Kerner Commission report was that our nation is moving toward two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. One of the tragedies of the 20th century was that President Johnson did not act on the recommendations that were made in the report. And here we are, 52 years later, and what do we see? The best time for Kerner Commission II would have been in 1968. The second best time for Kerner Commission II is today. Simmons College of Kentucky has recently announced the formation of the Kerner Commission 2.0, not to duplicate the work of the original, but to pick up the mantle and begin the work that was laid out. And on today, the 53rd anniversary, I'm offering my support to the work of the Kerner Commission 2.0. Many organizations are putting out resolutions, but what we see happening between Simmons College of Kentucky and Kentucky State University is resolved. They are taking action. What we're saying, let's look at what we have in the community already. And if we have something that's working, then let's build on it. Let's support it. No one knows a community and the needs of the community like the people that live in that community. The commission will help the larger community understand what is there in West Louisville, to raise awareness throughout the state about the assets. Now, we want to talk about progress on more equitable, higher education and opportunity for generational change. Senate Bill 270 supports Kentucky's private and public historically black colleges and universities, HBCUs, in expanding services to students, particularly in West Louisville. It's going to expand opportunities for teacher preparation programs at Simmons College and encourages further cooperation between Simmons and Kentucky State University. This legislation allows students attending Simmons, Kentucky's only private HBCU, to receive Kentucky tuition grants. This legislation represents the first step, just one first step, to Simmons establishing an educator preparation program that's going to directly benefit Jefferson County Public Schools in this community to give all of our students that brighter future. This is important because E. Franklin Frazier said that there are three institutions central to the success of the black community. The first is the black family, the second is the black church, and the third is the black college. With this legislation, the state has issued a mandate and a charge for the state's only public HBCU and its only land-grant institution to bring to bear all of our resources in West Louisville. Someone asked me, are you left wing or are you right wing? I'm either left wing or right wing. I just want the whole bird. <laughs> and the whole bird has made this historic legislation happen. I want to thank you so very much.
virtual concert all for the purpose of enrollment yes we are calling this the praise party with a purpose all to celebrate and help enroll you into louisville's only hbcu simmons college of kentucky so we're going to have a wonderful time tonight we're going to hear from uh, simmons students we're going to hear from our president the reverend dr kevin w cosby music from mr jason claiborne and of course james hall but the most important reason why we are gathering you here to today is to encourage you to get on the path to a brighter future. Have you thought about going back to school? Have you thought about doing something different with your life? How about trying the Simmons solution? Hey, we've got our admission rep standing by right now to take your call and actually enroll you today. You can give them a call at 502-776-1443 and you can also text them your information as well. You can text admit to 55444. So we told you all about the purpose and are you ready for some praise? Are you ready for some praise? I know we are. Come on. All right, let's get right to it. Our first performer of the evening, we're proud to call him our very own. I tell you, he is highly anointed and his sangas are anointed as well. Let's welcome Dub Award winning, Grammy nominated and stellar nominated National Gospel Recording Arts Artist, Minister Jason Claiborne and Friends. Thank you. 
Come on, let's sing this madly together. Oh, don't stop the praise right now. Come on and put your hands together and lift up the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, whether you're riding in your car or just sitting in your home, just lift up the name of Jesus in this place. Hallelujah.
no God like Jehovah. There's 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 no God like Jehovah. No God. There's no God like Jehovah. There's no God. There's no God like Jehovah. No God like. There's no God like. There's no God like.
Hi, I'm Congressman John Yarmuth, and I have the great honor of representing Louisville, Kentucky, and Louisville's very own Simmons College in the United States Congress. Simmons is quite a unique institution. It has the distinction of being not only the nation's newest HBCU, but also one of the oldest black colleges in America, and it's led by the incomparable Dr. Kevin Cosby. I remember when Dr. Cosby first explained his vision for Simmons to me, and I instantly understood the enormous potential Simmons had to transform not only West Louisville neighborhoods, but generations of black students from Louisville and around the world. I am so proud of the rich history of this outstanding college and all it does for its students both in and out of the classroom. I hope you have a great concert today, and I know you will keep up the great work. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kia Moore. I am from Louisville, Kentucky. I'm a single mother. I have two beautiful daughters, and that's a challenge, especially during Corona. I'm not a traditional student. I work at Ford Mortal Company, and I was actually at George Unsell, and they went through this whole process, and they just switched everybody into different schools, they didn't tell us anything. And so I was pretty upset about it. Um, and my GPA was low. I had been to JCC and WKU. And so no, really no other school was really going to look at me, consider me anything. So I've heard about HBCUs before and I was like, I need to dictate my life and I can do this. And so I was like, hmm, let me check Simmons out. tell you I went there about 2 30 3 o'clock in the afternoon did the application and registered for my classes how financial aid it, it just happened everything so I was just like wow so it was a little slow at first I was you know just getting back into the notion of going to school because I had been working and so you know my teachers you know, pushed me when I wasn't feeling it they was like oh we gonna do this like come on let's go favorite part of being at Simmons is just the culture, the HBCU culture. I love it. I love seeing people in class that looks like me striving to do better. And I love my professors. They are awesome. They really care about you and, and they understand that life happens and they understand that, you know, we all have struggles. And so that would have to be my favorite part of having someone to look up to and to teach me that understands my struggle. I'm a senior this year and I'm so excited. I have two more semesters left and then I will be graduating. When I graduate, I am going to open up a daycare. Um, I'm very excited about it. I actually told myself that I'm gonna have my graduation party celebration at my daycare. I want to do daycare because I know that our children, um, black and brown children, have been miseducated. And I just want to change that. It's not only have a daycare, but a school. And for the children to be able to come and learn to be 
agents of change in society and, and to help their parents as well to start breaking generational curses, building generational legacy, and just helping the black people come together because we can do it. so wonderful to hear from our greatest assets and that is our students we want to welcome you to our praise party with a purpose and the purpose for tonight is to get you well our goal is to enroll 100 students into louisville's only hbcu simmons college of kentucky real quick simmons nation is crowding out our virtual chat and so we just want to send a shout out to simmons nation if you're part of simmons nation go ahead and give us some hearts and we are showing you some love tonight. I want to send a shout out to Miss Phyllis Clark, who is working hard in our chat, trying to get you registered. And she is the Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Success. Also, Dr. Kevin Davenport, who is over our music department, is also tuned in. So we want to send a big shout out to all students and staff and all of the community that love and support Simmons College of Kentucky. So let's keep the program going, and we thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to the James Hall Concert. I'm Samuel C. Tarver, Jr., Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Simmons College of Kentucky, and I'd like to bring you greetings and welcome you to this evening's concert. Also, I want to bring you greetings on behalf of the National Baptist Convention of America that is headquartered at Simmons College of Kentucky. At this time, I am proud and excited to introduce to you the dynamic, visionary, and relevant president, the 13th president of Simmons College of Kentucky, Dr. Kevin Cosby. Thank you so much, Dr. Tobert, the chairman of the board of Simmons College of Kentucky and president of the National Baptist Convention of America International. And I want to thank you also, all of you, for your support of Simmons College of Kentucky, historical black colleges and universities. Historically black colleges and universities are only 3% of the colleges in America, just 3%. But they graduate 28% of all black kids and all black students who earn a baccalaureate degree. 50% of all public school teachers and public school personnel graduate from a historically black college and university. 75% of all black veterinarians, doctors, pharmacists, graduate at HBCUs, just 3%. How do you explain the success of historically black colleges and universities? Institutions that do so much with so little because HPCUs do not have an abundance of resources. Of the 101 historically black colleges and universities, their combined endowment is $3.4 billion, 101 historically black colleges and universities. Think about that, $3.4 billion. Consider Harvard, just one predominantly white institution, and Harvard has $40 billion in endowment. So what is the secret sauce to Simmons College success, historically black colleges success? Here it is. HBCUs celebrate black students. HBCUs don't exist for segregation. HBCUs exist for celebration, for affirming black students. 
There was a study done by the American University in 2017 which said that one black teacher in the classroom in the third, fourth, or fifth grade increases the chances of black boys, 37%, of not only graduating from high school, but completing college. Just one black teacher in the life of a black boy, third, fourth, fifth grade. Now, if one black teacher can have that impact in elementary school, what happens when black kids are in black institutions in which they are celebrated, affirmed, and no one is questioning their capacity? Those students excel. And HBCUs are those institutions that are designed just for our kids. And Simmons College, which is one of the oldest historically black colleges and universities, in fact, we're in the top 20 in terms of longevity, in the top 20. And what makes us such a successful and stellar institution is number one, at Simmons you have small classrooms. Small classrooms, which means that for every 10 students, there's one teacher, which means that the students are able to interact with the students and those students are caring, nurturing students. In addition to that, uh, Simmons is successful because of the peer interaction. I mean, you get to know other kids, you get validated, you get affirmed, you, you, in, you, so, you have so much confidence as a result of going to a school like Simmons that um, th you feel like there's nothing you cannot do, there's, there's nothing you cannot achieve. Now listen to me, if you want something different in your life. You've got to be willing to do something different in your life. You cannot continue to keep doing the same thing and expect different results. You have to be willing to make a change. And the best change you can make is to get a good, solid education. Bill Gates was right when he said, in the future, there will be two categories of people. There will be high-skilled, high-wage workers and low to no-skill, low-skill workers. The choice is yours. Some of you are thinking, well, I don't have the IQ. Well, you don't know what you have because perhaps during your elementary, middle school, and high school years, you had some teachers that diminished and downgraded your capacity and you internalized the negative messages that you were given. You really perhaps don't know how gifted you really are. And furthermore, listen carefully, success in education is not about your IQ, but it's about your I will. I will. I will enroll in Simmons College of Kentucky, and I'm going to do it today. And I'm going to be in class in the fall because we will have in-person, on-campus instructions. We're returning back post-COVID. We will be in class on campus on August the 23rd. Some of you who perhaps are watching from across the country say, are throughout the state of Kentucky are saying, well, I'd like to attend Simmons, but where do I stay? Contact us. There's numbers on the screen. Contact us because we have dorm space for you. So you've been making all these excuses, and excuses never get you anywhere. Now it's time to act. Now it's time to enroll. I have a student here who is our band leader, Mr. Uh, Brandon Smith. Brandon? Bless you. Tell us, tell us about your experience at Simmons. I think it's been an eye-opener. Um, coming into Simmons, I really didn't know if I was ready or prepared to be in college again and ready for that challenge. But it's been filled with opportunity. The networking is crazy. I've been to Israel to study my religion. I've been uh, around some great people. Our faculty and staff have helped us to strive when the world may push us away or like you said, diminish our spirits. They're able to pick us up and tell us that we can. And we are able to leave Simmons being agents of change. Yes. 
And what year are you? I'm a senior. I got two more semesters, then I'm out of here. And then you're graduating, and then the sky's the limit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing's going to hold me back. Any, any door that I have is being knocked down by the grace of God. He's going to help me. And with the help of this, this school, I think I'll go pretty far. And you, you're a church kid, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. PK. And my father, Reverend Dr. Stephen Smith of Portland Memorial Missionary Baptist Church and Mount Hermon Baptist Church. He has helped me, pushed me along, been very vital in my life, along with the faculty and staff, Reverend Dr. Kevin Cosby right here, definitely helping us to strive for the best, strive for the highest. And I appreciate it. Man, you have been a joy to have you on at Simmons, and uh, you've added so much value to us. And, and um, you do a great job with the band, brother. But listen to me. I had someone tell me, Brandon, they said, well, you know, if I start school today, and um, it's going to take me four years to graduate, and I'm 22 years old, and it's going to take me four years. My God, I'll be 26 years old. Well, listen, I told them, if you live four years, you're going to be 26 anyway. The question is not if you're going to be 26. The question is, are you going to be at 26 the same way you are at 22? And if you don't act now, when you get 26, you will look back and say, you know what? They tried to tell me, but I didn't jump on it. Take advantage of it. Call the number on the screen. We are here to help you. The journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And the first step for you is to be one of the 100 who will enroll in Simmons College of Kentucky today. So you do that. I know you're going to be blessed by this concert. Uh, one of the greatest artists in the history of art. Put him up there with, with uh, Bach and Chopin and uh, some of these outstanding uh, Renaissance musicians. Uh, and that is James Hall. I listen literally to James Hall every day day. That's how inspirational he is to me. So do me a favor, get the word out, uh, share the link. This, this is going to be a spiritual festival, a festival of Christian music. It's going to bless you, but more importantly, be a blessing and help someone enroll. Maybe I'm not talking to a student. Maybe I'm talking to some mama out here, and you've been praying for your child. Maybe it's a grandmama, a father, a grandfather, and you've been praying for your child. Listen. You influence your child. You say, tomorrow, we're going, in fact, we're going to do it today, and I'm going to go with you to, to enroll in Simmons College of Kentucky. Help your child improve their future. Enroll today. God bless you. thing about being in the HBCU environment uh, um, it was the history it was the history like I get the truth um, <laughs> I get the truth <laughs> um, I found out about HBCUs um, from my senior um, teacher, um, who seemed to be like super educated in um, black history. And he, he really, really, truly planted that inspiration inside of me to want more. That hunger just really was like, oh my goodness, like. He had um, began teaching us history that we did not know and we were shocked and surprised. Not only just me, I mean, Kashani is predominantly um, African-American um, 
that specific teacher, he, he started just laying the history down on us. And when we heard it, it like really inspired us. Like we looked at him at, and the way of us being delivered, like that history just was like, whoa. And it was like a superhero. He was like a superhero. And like, I want to know what he know and I want to do what he do. And, you know, be looked at in that way. that's what inspired me to actually learn my history and um, want to be educated and I began looking at HBCUs specifically at um, Simmons I get to be at an HBCU that was built and founded by slaves and not too many people can say that um, taught by black professors um, on a day-to-day -day basis um, and I get to um, get that perspective to help me every day. They actually make sure that I stay the course. Um, the positive things that um, I have learned from Simmons College of Kentucky um, are that I am good enough to um, <laughs> that I'm good enough to, you know, pursue my dreams and that I can help, you know, my situation um, as a black um, woman and as a black person, um, that I don't have to just lay down and be a victim, that I am an advocate of change and I can, um, that I can, that I can do it and I can touch others, my people. Yes, we love our HBCU Simmons College of Kentucky, the 107th black HBCU in the country. Aren't you glad we got an HBCU in our city? Hey Amen. Make sure that you go and that you admit somebody. Somebody needs to get an education. Please do that. It is important. It is an important part of your life. And uh, we are grateful for Simmons College of Kentucky. I have the honor and the esteemed privilege of introducing our guest tonight. He is my big brother, but also the professor of gospel music. The professor of gospel music. I don't say that lightly because on a Sunday morning, even 15 to 20 years later, there's not a church that you will go to and hear a James Hall song. God wants a yes. Uh, release your power. I can go down the line. God is in control. Um, one that we used to sing that a lot of people don't sing, That Shall He Reap. Listen, I mean, we, we have flipped his songs upside down to the left, to the right. This is our pastor's and president's favorite artist. And I'm grateful that he is in the building tonight. Grammy nominated, Dove Award nominated, Stellar Award winner, been in the game for over 30 years. He is a maestro and the professor, once again, of gospel music. Won't you welcome my big brother, James Hall. Oh, come on, clap your hands for him. Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm talking like I'm talking to an audience out there, but I'm so, so, I'm so used to talking to an audience. Praise the Lord, everybody, but there's nobody out there. But um, I'm so glad to be here. Oh, I have had so many wonderful services right in St. Stephen's, and God knows we've had some church down through the years. I'm so happy to be back here to my friend, Pastor Cosby. I so appreciate you. I appreciate your love for James Hall and worship and praise. Matter of fact, we're going to start the concert off with something he re requested. You know, he, he had put his request in, praise God. And uh, he requested a song from my church choir, the Voices of Citadel. So we're going to go to Brooklyn a little bit, and I'm going to get on the organ, and Jason, you're going to direct, amen? And we're going to do Praise God from Whom All Blessings Flow.
not everybody can get James Hall to get on the organ, so y'all should feel, y'all have a treat tonight. Amen. Yeah, they tricked me tonight, but um, I'm going to outdo you, though. So we're going to go to, uh, that's on my, we are at War Project, ain't that right? I can't keep up with my own projects. We thank God we just recorded our 10th project. So I'm grateful, so. No, I'm getting, I look young, but I'm getting a little older. But we're going to take it to two close. You want to direct? It's fine. No, okay. All right, I'm going to direct. All right. Y'all pray for me. I haven't directed this in a long time. Like I'm making my way back to the organ. We're gonna take it, we're gonna sing something from the voices of Citadel Project. Release your power. Y'all pray for us tonight. Thank you. 
Aren't you glad you changed tonight? Anybody change tonight? I don't do with the things I used to do. I don't go the places I used to go. I'm so glad I changed. Oh! know if y'all don't mind having some church on the live stream tonight but I love church and these type of songs you make me they make me want to praise God just a little bit now I know we got some songs to go but uh every time I came to St. Stephen's I got my dancing <laughs> now I don't know if we're gonna get it in right now or if we gotta move on but the music ain't really going with me right now because I'll be gonna start a dancing right now if y'all would just give me a few minutes because I praise God for my change. Oh! Come on, anybody. You can praise him right in your house tonight. No, we can have a few of those through the night. That's what we do when we come to church. We don't have to stay there long, but we just got to get our praise in. Hallelujah. Woo! God is just that good. Aren't y'all glad to be serving a God like this? Hi! Who wouldn't serve a God like this? Woo! I ain't messing with y'all. Y'all sitting down on your couch. Y'all supposed to get off that couch and start dancing right in the living room. You could be dancing in the kitchen. Because God is worthy of the praise no matter where you are. Oh! All right. We going to, they want to hear singing. And so we going to sing. Hallelujah. True hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. We're going to go back to my, we are at war project, I believe that is. I wrote a song for a young lady who's not with us anymore, but she was my golden voice. And uh, we're going to revisit that song on tonight. God specializes. Anybody know that song? We're going to do that tonight. I'm going back on the organ. You have to come on up, brother. You have not, you're not, no time for you to rest tonight. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for you coming back. <laughs> Amen.
can hear the people screaming and shouting in here. It feels like there's a room of people in here. Giving God glory. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, what does my soul do? It cries. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. I owe it to him. I owe it to him. He brought us through a whole season. And you're still here. You're still here. You got the activity of your list. Don't take it for granted. God can do. And he specializes in things that seem impossible. And he can do what no other power. You can look for some other power, but there's no power greater than Jesus. He can do anything but fail. I messed up the rest of the night. God can do it, and he specialized. I don't have to sing, not another. You don't have to do, You can take that on into the week. God specializes. somebody point at him tell him he specializes look at somebody else tell him and he will do and he will do he promised you he promised you and he will do that means your, your dreams God will do it if you need a healing God will do it if you need deliverance God will do it and he will change it and mess me up. And he will, he will do it. Yeah. And he will do it. Candace, he will. James, he will. Derek, he will. Kevin James, he will. Sandy, he will. the perfect song to take us through the rest of this week. Darren Crystal, he will do it. Y'all, I, I see so many living witnesses in this room. Christine, he will do it. Jarrell, he will do it. Lloyd Brown, he will do it. Kenya, he will do it. Naya, he will do it. Stephanie, he will. Erica, he will. He has. Yes. a peculiar anointing in this room. Sometimes you just gotta rear your head back and say, God will! God will! Yes, he will! Yes, he will! Y'all need to type in your message right there. God will do what no other power can do. Now, I'm going to leave it alone. But we messed up in here tonight. We're going to. I know you will do it, God. I praise you for doing it in advance. Somebody need to give him a praise for doing it in advance. He ain't doing it yet, but I know.
we gonna try to, we got songs on the list. So we got to follow the list. Uh, hallelujah. But even right here, knowing that God will do, he already did some things for me. And with this, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got the right song. Because I am setting up another song. What is it? That's the one I was going with. Man, some songs I will never forget with God. I'm back at the camera. What God will never, has done for me already. So I never shall forget what the Lord has done for me. Turn to your neighbor and say, I never shall forget what the Lord has done for me.
I never shall forget what the Lord has done for me. Are these children singing tonight? Y'all need to put in your comments, these children are singing on tonight. Hey! All these wonderful sopranos, y'all sopranos. I love people that are in the soprano section that sing soprano. Amen. And the altos, you are doing great as well. Y'all singing. Yeah. Oh, you're singing tenors. Okay, and tenors, you are too. Everybody just doing a wonderful job. I'm going back to the organ, Jason. Yeah, they, yeah, they got, they want me to play tonight. I don't know. I don't know. They want me to play tonight, so. They making me work on the organ and indirectly. Y'all give it up for James Howe. We got one more song tonight. This is a classic. And so, listen, all choir members, I want you to stand up, get in front of your TV, all sopranos, all the altos, all the tenors. This is another high song. We gonna end with this. Y'all get y'all a drink of water real quick. Y'all get one. You ain't got no more. Somebody give me some waters for these. As James Hall said, these babies are singing tonight. Somebody give them some water. All right, listen, we are going out with a bang tonight. God won't say yes. This is one of my favorites, and just to have the professor play on the organ. We got him to play four songs on the organ, and y'all clap y'all hands for him virtually. And listen, we want to thank everybody that tuned in tonight. Make sure you reshare this, reshare it, keep on giving. Make sure you uh, admit somebody into Simmons College of Kentucky. The text, of the, we'll put the text, the thing on. Text the word ADMIT to 55444. Call us at 502-776-1443 or email us at info at Edu. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants a yes.
won't say yes. God won't say yes. God won't say yes. God has given you a vision and God wants you to say yes to it. God has given you an opportunity and God wants you to say yes to it. God is giving you a future and God wants you to say yes to it. God has given you deliverance and God wants you to say yes to it. God has given you a plan for a new you and God wants you to say yes to it. The Christian faith is not a negative faith. It's it's not an anti, it's a pro-faith. It's, it's about something. And God wants you to say yes. I have been so blessed tonight. Um, give some shout outs to these committed, dedicated, who've given their time, their talents, in order to learn this music to be a blessing to you and to help promote higher education at Simmons College of Kentucky. Thank y'all so very much. Love you. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for our uh, outstanding. And also, thank Jason Claiborne. Jason's just incredible. Thank you so much, Jason. And the musicians, the band. Outstanding. And then Brother James. James Hunt. Let me tell you what my daughter said. I have never met an, a person more humble than James Hall. She said, just working with him. Um, and I have studied you, James. Um, he's the type of person that does not have to be always up front. He's comfortable in the skin that he's in. Even my granddaughter sitting there clapping. And man, I just pray that God will take care of you, give you health, innovation, and creativity. Because man, you have done something that is not only blessing our generation. A hundred years from now, they will still be singing the music of Professor James Hall. Yeah. And uh, our city is better, our school is better, man, because you came this way. And when this is over with, I'm going home to get on my treadmill to listen to some more James Hall music. Amen. This man is just absolutely phenomenal. I know you have been blessed. But let us not forget the purpose again of this concert. The purpose again of the concert was to help you see the importance of enrolling in college. And Simmons College of Kentucky is one of the fastest growing colleges, at least prior to COVID-19, fastest growing colleges in America, percentage wise. And Simmons has a place for you. So you make sure you contact us, call uh, Simmons College of Kentucky, text the word admit to 55444. Or call us at Simmons College right now, 776-1443. Email us info at simmonscollegeky.edu. Become a part of Simmons Nation. All of the songs of James Hall has a unique and special message. So whatever you're going through during the course of a day, it's almost like you can listen to a different song that God has blessed James to write, and it will bless you. Um, one of the songs that I requested was the song, God Specializes. And I think I listen to that song every day. If he can take water and turn it into wine, surely he'll do just what he said he will do the word impossible listen to me 
is not in God's vocabulary. Every time you say the word, well, this is impossible, the angels in heaven laugh because they never use the word impossible in heaven. You remember when God told a geriatric couple by the name of Abraham and Sarah that they were going to have a child in their old age? God sent some angels to tell Sarah, next year this time, Sarah, I know that you're advanced in age, but next year this time you will be pregnant. And we are told in Genesis 18 that Sarah laughed. And the angel said, Sarah, why did you laugh? Is anything impossible? are too hard for God? And the answer to the question, of course, is no. There is nothing too hard for God. And if you feel stuck, all of us get stuck. All of us get in slumps. You might be in a slump right now. One of the ways you get out of your slump is you gotta study your way out. You gotta read your way out. You gotta do something different. And there's nothing you can do better for yourself that has more intrinsic value than getting back in school. So I hope you'll take advantage of this. I hope you have been blessed tonight. One thing about um, virtual concerts is that you can go back and listen to it over and over again and you can send it out. And I hope you'll send out this concert to somebody who needs the music of James Hall, needs this. And it'll be a blessing to you. Thank you so very much. Pray for Simmons College of Kentucky and all of the historical black colleges and universities in America. There is forces in this world that want to keep black Americans in the bottom caste. There are forces in this world that do not want strong black institutions, black governed institutions. But we fight back. We continue to fight for our institutions because as our institutions go, so goes our community. Continue to support HBCUs. Simmons College of Kentucky is 100% student body black. Many HBCUs, the demographic, the student body is changing so that their HBCUs in name only but the students are no longer black kids. HBCUs were created for black kids. That does not mean we exclude anyone, but specifically it's for black kids. And we are 100% unapologetically black. We are culturally black. We're proud of our heritage and we are Christian. And we are ashamed, we're not ashamed of either. Our blackness or our faith. And it's a place for you. Simmons is a place for you. Continue to support the 10th oldest historical black college and university in America, Simmons College of Kentucky. There's 101 of them, but we are the 10th oldest from, from 1879 slaves, former slaves, to here we are today. Continue to support. Well, brothers and sisters, let's receive the final benediction. I know you've been blessed, so let's just pray together. Heavenly Father, Father, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we thank you for this festival of music. We thank you for the giftedness of uh, Jason Claiborne and for James Hall. Oh, Lord, I pray that you will bless them both and keep James safe and productive and cutting edge. Don't let him, O oh Lord, be content with what he's already doing. Help him to dream even greater dreams. Use him. I pray, O oh Lord, for that great church and his pastor and uh, that has put him on loan for us. Thank you, Lord, for each one of these singers who have poured out and, and are tired, poured out their, their giftedness to bless us. I pray, O oh Lord, that what they have given out that you will restore it to them fourfold. Keep us, O oh God. Bless us so that we might be a blessing. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. 
Amen. God bless your hearts. Thank you so much.